This video is for all of you Google Docs users. And if you're not, I can't recommend enough for you to start being a Google Docs user, especially if you're an educational institution. Google Docs for Education is outstanding. But you will want to be able to access some of those Google Documents from your iPad. And there are a couple of major ways that you can do that. You could actually just use Safari if you really wanted to and just migrate your way to docs.google.com and you can mess with a lot of your documents that way if you desire. But honestly, there are some apps out there, for instance, this GoDocs, which gives it a very cute look and feel to it and it categorizes your documents and you can even take a peek at some of your documents over on the right hand side after you activate them here. It's synchronizing right now because that one has not downloaded before, but it shows you your folders and all the things that are inside of your folders. So it's a very nice, neat, organized way to take a look at and to be able to get into your documents. Once you want to edit your document though, once you press the edit document, it really just takes you to that same editor that you're gonna get through Safari in most respects anyways. So if you're interested in having a nice, easy looking, easy feeling, easy to navigate uh, way around Google Docs, think about something like a GoDocs or for cheap or even free right here, if you just download the Google app, it's just straight up called Google. It's this blue one right here with the G, you click on that. This is really my favorite because it does a couple of things. It first of all gives you the Google search bar, which obviously all of us use on a fairly regular basis, but it also gives you the history of your searching here. And you'll notice you can click this little application icon and it's going to take me to all my Google apps. And we'll do that in one second but I can do a voice search from right here. This is particularly uh, fantastic for those users that may not have the new iPad because I can do the voice search and it will search out things even if I don't have the voice option built into my iPad. And then the last part is the Google Goggles. So if you're a Google Goggles user where you can try and identify things by the way they look, um, you can really bend your mind a little bit by using Google Goggles over here. It's fun, I recommend you try it. But let's go into the Google Apps. Once you hit Google Apps, very easy, straight up view. Here I can take a look at my Gmail from here, my calendars, docs, news. I even have Google Plus and all of the rest of the Google Apps at my disposal as long as I have that account created. So I'm gonna take a look at my documents and it's going to make me sign in. So I'm going to put my credentials in and the wonderful video Photographer is going to hide my password for me, I'm sure. And now it's redirecting me after I type in all my information and voila, here's my dashboard of all my documents or at least some of my documents at this point. This just shows the, the most uh, recent documents and you can see there's a button down here for show more items. Let me just take a look at, um, let's do the constitutional underpinnings, uh, that's a presentation. Here's one of the limitations of Google Docs at this point. It's a great way to show presentations and slides, but the problem is I cannot edit this. Not a huge deal if you can make it from your laptop anyway, but at least you have it in a very portable, very easy to present option. You plug in the little 30 pin on this side through your VGA or you have your Apple TV, and now you can present any document that you have previously created straight from your iPad. Let's go back to my desktop here. I wanna show you a couple more things because, let's do show more items here. Down here, untitled spreadsheet, we'll just take a look at that quickly. I wanna show you some of the spreadsheet information here. Here I have the spreadsheet built in here, and you're going to notice that you can actually add things. You can add rows, you can even type within columns anything that you so desire within here any column, anyway, it looks a little bit different than your, than your typical spreadsheet. It even looks a little bit different than it does when you are doing Google Docs online, but it, you can certainly add, edit, and modify spreadsheet information. You can just do it by a row by row um, insert. And when you're done, hit submit. And now I have my new information down below and I'm done with this document and I can just go back and take a look at my dashboard. The most user-friendly version of the apps is certainly the, there we go, we'll take a look at it, the Word Editor. Looks a little bit ugly on the iPad, but you can certainly go in here and edit just about anything that you want by hitting the Edit button up here. And once you're in the editor, now you can actually type things in here 
by doing this you can put in new information if you so desire and when you're done you either hit refresh or you go back so I'm just going to refresh this go back one second there's my document I do want to show you one last thing before we're done though and that's this little down arrow I can print this or it says use the desktop version this seems to be a little bit glitchy at times but Google promises to be fixing that once you click on that desktop version if they get that working robustly then you're really going to see the power of Google Documents on a mobile application like this. Bottom line though in all of this is if you use Google Docs get yourself a Google app of some sort so that you can at least fetch them, harvest them, and do minor editing or present from them at some given point.